Hello friends and family and welcome to another episode of the Global Pandemic Crippling Anxiety Meditation Hour that lasts 10 minutes. Although today, again, it will be shorter than 10 minutes. Um, in case you haven't seen the last video, I have uploaded a couple of instructional videos for installing the Dhamma.org app on an iPhone or an Android phone. And you can download the Anapana meditation instructions and introduction, both, on that app, on both platforms. I would suggest for the rest of this week, anyone watching these videos, do that. Follow those instructions and make use of them. They're really helpful. And these videos for the rest of the week will only be short discussions. Today I wanted to talk about paraphernalia again and specifically the outdoors. When we were invited to come to this wonderful apartment in Jammu as a bit of a relief from living in uh, a hotel, <laughs> which was less than ideal, uh, one of the features which our friends mentioned to us over and over was that there's a wonderful balcony out here. And we do enjoy that balcony every morning, but they kept insisting, oh, it'll be a wonderful place to meditate out on the balcony by the river. And although it's a beautiful balcony, for those of us who are beginners, and we are definitely beginners, it is almost always a bad idea to meditate outdoors. The sun, the wind, the rain, the bugs, it is extremely difficult already to concentrate and to have a meaningful meditation, much less uh, when you add all of these complications. So I would strongly suggest not meditating outdoors. We don't uh, ever. Um, and, or very, very rarely, uh, essentially we meditate outdoors only if we have to. Um, and it, when you meditate indoors, do try to keep it as simple as possible. Keep the room free of smoke, which means no incense. Keep the room free of any extra sound, if possible, other than a guided meditation, if you're following one. And uh, you can dim the lights if that makes it more comfortable for your eyes. Uh, many people find that um, much more comfortable. And you can even close the blinds or the curtains on the windows so the room remains dark or darker uh, even during the day. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. That is today's tiny bit of advice. Um, and I'll close it by saying, uh, in general, you can reduce paraphernalia, um, things like incense, things like additional sounds, additional smells, and um, the seat where you meditate, you can also reduce paraphernalia there as well. So if you're comfortable sitting on the floor on a mat of some kind or cushion, uh, do so in whatever posture is comfortable for you. If you're not, then don't force yourself. Sit in a chair, it's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And uh, everybody sits in a chair from time to time. So I'll leave it there. I hope everyone is taking care of themselves and I hope you're all taking care of each other. Love you lots. We'll talk to you tomorrow.